Well, here's one of the day's projects that I got to do. Uh, the mower decides it does not like to run occasionally. And after doing some research online, somebody told me that the problem is, is that the coil has gone intermittent. So I'm going to go ahead and take the, uh, the, co the top off. I'll show you how to do it and change the coil. Just uh, so you guys know, that's the uh, model and brand number. And uh, let me get you over here. And there's the ignition coil part number I bought off of eBay. So, uh, let me get this done and I'll show you what you need to do. Obviously, the first thing you need to do is uh, pull, the, uh, pull the cover. So, let's go ahead and loosen these up. Yeah, I got all three of those. Also, you'll need to uh, unmount the, uh, the lever here. So let me uh, take this, loosen this up. And let's see, let's take the uh, strain down here. Oh, not loose enough. There it goes. So we got that. And uh, let me finish getting these out. So I got that one off. And best to remember, the cover just comes right up. There we go. Set that aside. There's your coil right there. All right. Now, for whatever reason you decide to take more than one of these pegs off, you should know that they're different sizes. This one is shorter than those. So make sure you put the right one back on, otherwise your top right there will flop around and won't look right. So you have to take this off, and we'll get these loose right here. Well, of course, you'll have to pull your boot too. Okay, loosen these up with a 10 millimeter wrench. There you go. And it just just comes off. It's a long bolt. And you'll have to take this off. I'll need two hands to do that. Okay, I got that off. Now let's take this. Now up under here. Bink. And let me go grab the new one. Oh, by the way, all the bolts so far are 10 millimeter. So you need a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet. Just a regular size socket. You don't need a deep socket with a little three inch extension, a stubby ratchet. And a uh, 10 millimeter wrench. That's basically the only two tools you need right now. Okay, uh, I like to keep my stuff kind of clean and keep the rust and crap off. I'll have to do a little bit of cleaning right here to make sure that the uh, coil does make contact. Uh, with the frame, but uh, I painted it up uh, just to engine enamel to withstand the heat, a little bit of painter's tape. And uh, here's the tools 10 millimeter wrench, a 10 millimeter socket with a stubby ratchet, and a little three inch extension, just a pocket knife. And uh, you'll need a business card. Oh, by the way, there's a, a realtor if you need one in, I think it's, yeah, some town called Slidell, Louisiana. Yeah, you can look this guy up. It's not me, so. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, if you need a realtor, there you go. So that's a free plug for ladder and blum, I guess. Anyways, here you go. Those are the tools and things that you need. So let's get to it. Let me get the tape off of this and I'll show you how to put it on. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is you can put some dielectric grease on here since you're, you know, running around the lawn. Put it in there to keep moisture and corrosion out of there as well. Okay, I just squirted a little bit in there and squished and twisted it around with both hands and I think that'll work. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pocket knife and scrape a little bit of area off here so it's got, so that it has uh, good contact uh, with the, uh, the mower. Okay, I got one side done. Let me do the other side here. Just scrape it off. That should work. So let's go put it on the mower now. Alright, let's get it over here. 
Make sure these are dry and clean. They look dry and clean. So I'll set that up there. <laughs> Grab my bolt. Stick it in here. Start to tighten it down. Let's get the other one. Stick it in here. Let me get them screwed down. Okay, at this point, all you need to do is drop your business card in between here. Oh, and you put these down just don't snug them up yet put that in there push that against that and then you tighten these down okay after you got it pushed in then you want to go ahead and uh, snug this up man that lawnmower guy over there and do this one first because as you turn this it's going to want to push this way and push into the card which is what you want so just snug that up real good grab your wrench and snug this one out. Now this is aluminum head, so you don't want to strip it. Just snug it up really good. Pull your business card out. Hook up your, uh, your ignition. Do your spark plug. Oh, lawnmower wants to move. Boom. Hook that up. Hook your ground up. Meet like that. And then you can uh, put your head, your cover back on. right there all right now this right here you're gonna to want to pull this cord connect it up there first and then pull it down here and then set that on there and put your nuts on so uh, let's go do that oh, oh tripped over my little mechanic seat all right let's get this in here there we go now let's tighten this back up so it doesn't come undone go yeah let's take this and pull it down here and set it on here all right I'm gonna have to use two hands and get the nuts started <laughs> got to put that in <laughs> right here it's a little spacer so let me get that on there real quick all right I got the spacer back on let me set this back on here okay well, that looks like it's going to stay by itself. Let me do this one first so it doesn't spring up. Get that one. Probably use the ratchet to get that one started. And this one too. Let me get them started. Okay, I'm just going to use the extension and the socket without the ratchet on it to get it going. There's one, two, and three. Let's grab your handy dandy ratchet. Make sure it's set the right direction. Snug it. Come here. I forgot, you gotta push the button on it to lock it. There you go. Snug it. Snug it. Oh, that one didn't go on all the way after all. There you go. That's it. All you got to do now is start it. Let me see if I can't start it. Oh, I've got to hold this down. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, there you go. So apparently, I still have a, still have a little bit of a problem. It still appears to have a little bit of a miss in it. So. Um, but I know that uh, used to have a, a the problem used to be a lot worse So it doesn't really matter right now. I'll take care of that What matters is that you know how to change the coil now and how easy it is to do it Y'all have a good one. Give me a thumbs up if you learned something about changing the coils. Talk to you later. Bye